Good morning, tubers. Actually, I should say good afternoon because it's technically about 1 o'clock. Matt and Roy back to you again on the 8th of August, I believe it is. Oof, I have been crazy super busy, so that's why I haven't seen a video from me in a couple of days. Um, a couple things that have changed recently. Well, one, right now I'm actually going to be heading over to the dealership to try to finally pick up these two relays I need for my ignition system and my starter. Hoping they're going to have them in stock. Uh, I tried everywhere. I tried uh, Napa, O'Reilly, AutoZone, and even looked at Advanced, and none of them had a relay that matched what I needed for this. So I was able to luckily go on the dealerships, my local Chrysler dealerships website, and um, request the part. It's only they're only about fourteen dollars a piece, so I'm going to wind up buying two of them. So I need to replace the one for the starter and the one for the actual ignition. Uh, so we'll see if that fixes the problem. Uh, on top of that, I did something yesterday that I wasn't really expecting to do. Uh, well, let me start from the beginning here. Uh, the TV that we have in the den upstairs, which is the 40-inch um, Dynex TV, is getting a little bit tired. Every once in a while, a line goes down the screen. Uh, not to mention the fact it is an LCD TV and puts out a ton of heat. And that being a smaller room, we're in there during the summer and we're just sweating even with the air conditioning on. So I had told mom that I'll, I'll look for a new TV for my room and then I would take the TV that I have near my bed and stick that in the, um, in the den so I can replace the Dynex TV. I started looking at one in Roses, um, and I think you guys saw a little bit of that. It was a Sanyo 43-inch 1080p TV for 300 or $240, and uh, that was a good deal, but unfortunately, they weren't getting them in. I, I've been trying for days and days and days. Uh, they keep saying they're going to come on the truck, stringing me along, and uh, nothing happened. So yesterday, we decided to go out to Walmart. We had to do some shopping. Uh, Mom needed some um, personal hygiene items. I wanted to look and see uh, maybe if they had any TVs there. Nothing really good. They had an, uh, an element that was about equivalent to that Sanyo, but I didn't really like it. I've had issues with uh, those TVs in the past, that brand. So on my way out, I just remembered that it was a tax-free holiday in Virginia. I said, you know what, I really need some batteries. So I went over to Best Buy to pick up some batteries. Um, Mom wanted to go to Food Line, so she dropped me off at Best Buy. I bought the batteries, and I said to myself, you know what, let me go look and see what TVs they have here, because for the most part, that's where I've gotten all of my TVs. Um, I had looked at their ad earlier that day, and this was, you know, Sunday, so their ad had changed, and I didn't really see anything that I really liked. Well, it's a good thing I went over there. I went into the home theater uh, area, saw the first few TVs. Uh, there were a couple Samsung, some LGs, nothing that I really liked. And then I turned the corner and I saw they had one of those like super duper, um, like uh, it's almost like a door buster sale, like you have on Black Friday. It was in a little area. It is, and I wanted to buy it. It's a 43 inch Insignia Roku TV, uh, 4K, yep, 4K TV for $299. I couldn't believe the price. This TV was going for $400, so $100 off, and just a week earlier. And I think the week before that, I was looking online, someone said they were selling for $450. So the way I look at it, I wound up getting $150 off. And I will show you guys this TV a little bit later on today. I'll probably do a separate review on that, but. It's amazing. I, the picture is unbelievable. Um, basically, I, the way it works is it's it's a Roku box basically that's built into the TV, and everything is controlled by the Roku. Um, very very easy to use, very efficient. The picture is beautiful. Now the funny part is I believe this is actually a Samsung TV, and the way I can tell is it has the Samsung volume bar in the top right hand corner that goes up and down that uh, Samsung TVs are famous for. And that's very typical when you buy a, um, a house brand at Best Buy, whether it be Insignia, Dynex, uh, Rocketfish, they're all usually made by a major manufacturer. Sometimes it's LG, sometimes it's Toshiba. In this case, I'm pretty sure this is a uh, Samsung TV. So if you guys in the future are looking to um, upgrade your TV, Definitely look into getting one of the Best Buy house brands. You're going to save yourself a lot of money in the long run, and you're really getting a TV that will last just as long as any of the other ones because they're actually made by one of the major uh, 
manufacturers. I know there are people out there who'll say, oh, no, I would never buy a house brand TV. They'll only last a year if you're lucky. Well, definitely not true because we, the Dynex one we're replacing, that TV's got to be about six years old now. And that TV has been used a lot. We usually keep that on at night to give the cats company. Um, and that TV's only starting to show signs of, of wearing out. And it still works, except for that once in a while you get that line down the screen. Well, I am almost here at the thrift store. I'm going to go to the thrift store first, then probably head over to the bank, and then head over to the um, dealership. I want to give them a little bit more time because they may just be starting to look at the uh, request for parts. So I'm going to pause this video, and I'll talk to you guys in a little All bit. All right, tubers, so success of sorts. <laughs> I just left the parts department here at my local Chrysler dealership, and they were able to order the part. It took them forever to find it. Apparently, the original part has been discontinued, and he had to find one that was equivalent. Luckily, he was able to do so. So $45 later, it should be in tomorrow. Hopefully, the uh, Realize I Have will last until then. I had somebody asking me, um, saying that 90% of the time, it's the starter, not the relay. Uh, just for those of you that didn't see the video, I have replaced the starter on my van. But unfortunately, the, when the old starter was going bad, I think it just stressed the relays out too much. So once these are fixed, that should, that should fix my entire starting problem. All right, tubers. So I just uh, looked outside. Check this out. Oh my gosh. We're supposed to be under a uh, severe thunderstorm slash tornado warning tonight. Boy, you can see the rain is really coming down. We really need this too. Our uh, ground is very, very dry. Matter of fact, if you look closely, see all the brown spots here on the lawn. This is absolutely ridiculous though. But you know what? If we can get this for the next couple days, and they're saying on and off the next few days we're supposed to be getting rain like this, then uh, yeah, this will be really good. This will go a long way into increasing the water table around here. There's my lowly van over there, which uh, is getting its first bath in a long time. <laughs> Same thing with Mom's car. Whoa, I am definitely getting wet. No uh, actual thunder yet. I wonder when that's going to happen. See how mom's plants are doing here. Yeah, looking really good today. Wow, the rain's actually increasing, believe it or not. Absolutely incredible. Well, hopefully this keeps up for a while. Um, I'm going to go ahead and end the vlog here for today. I was going to show you guys the TV, but you know what? Since we're going to have these really bad storms, I think I'll wait until uh, tomorrow to do that. Hope you guys enjoyed this vlog. Please remember to like and subscribe, and pray get through the night with these storms. Have a blessed day, everybody. Good morning, tubers. 1018 the next day, so yes, this is going to be another multi-day vlog. Whew, we had a rough night last night. Rain, storms, it's actually still raining right now in the background. Uh, I'm, don't, don't get me wrong, I'm glad for it. We are really, really struggling for rain at the moment. Um, right now our, our table's about eight inches low, our water table, so we need it. But I could do without the storms because they are freaking out the cats to no end. It just amazes me how uh, animals can get so frightened. It's just in their nature um, of storms. Basically, not even really just thunderstorms. I remember when we used to get really big snowstorms, Simon and LTA would freak out because they'd be seeing all the snow and they're like, oh, what's that, what's that? I don't usually see that. <laughs> but um, I'm heading over to the auto parts store right now. I've been wanting to get some, um, some oil additive to put into this uh, car here just to kind of protect the engine. I usually do that with all of my vehicles. Um, someone was telling me that uh, Z-Max is supposed to be very good. I may actually wind up trying that today. Um, and you know what? I haven't had enough coffee. I can't remember what I usually use. I'll know when I hit Prolong. That's it. I usually use Prolong in my engines and that always seemed to do really well by me. And that's something I always tell you guys you need to have in your vehicles. Uh, heaven forbid you blew your oil filter, um, your car's oil pump started going bad or totally went bad like it happened to me when I owned my Taurus. These oil additives will save your butt, or in your case, save your engine, because uh, one time years ago, the oil pump in my uh, 
Taurus, my 92 Taurus went bad, and um, you know, I was young and stupid, I was a young kid, I didn't know that I wasn't supposed to drive it when the oil light was on, I mean, I was probably 17, 16 years old at the time, and um, uh, luckily I had I had, had the uh, Pro, and at that time I think I was using Duraloop, that was before Prolong actually came out, but I had an engine oil additive in there, and I wound up driving that car uh, about 20 miles with no oil pressure, and that saved my engine. So it's definitely something I highly recommend because, let's face it, there are going to be times you're just not going to be paying attention to that little red light that's blinking on your dash, maybe you had a bad day, maybe you're tired, and that will save your butt in the end, believe me. It's well worth the $20 uh, that you pay versus having to pay $1,500, $2,000 to put a new engine in your car. Well, I'm almost at AutoZone. i got to run a few more errands today. We're going to be going down to Virginia Beach, provided the weather stays decent. Uh, this morning, was they were the only time they were supposed to have really heavy rain. I think the, that's pretty much ended. So I'm going to give it about another hour or two. And if the weather is still like this, then I'm going to head down there. And uh, we'll see what the rest of the day brings. I'm sure I'll find some interesting items. This is, the, of course, Tuesday. So at CHKD, everything is 25% off. I'm going to pause this for a few minutes. And I'll catch up with you guys on the flip side. All right, Tuber. So I just gave Baxter some catnip on his little scratch and post. And... Milo's there. Oh boy, this may not be good. <laughs> oh, and they're in a headlock. There they go. Milo gets Baxter with a right hook. Baxter's coming back <laughs> with the same. It's almost like they're cugging each other. <laughs> These two are so funny. Oh, Baxter's got a neck bite. And Milo's coming with a left cross there. Uh oh, Baxter's going in the no no zone. <laughs> Don't be worried, guys. This is just how they play. Especially when there's catnip involved. And I do like to watch because sometimes they get a little too rough. Let me interject here. Here, here, here. Sniff the catnip. Go on, sniff the nip. Now, it's funny. They're more interested in playing fight, play fighting with each other than they are in the catnip. <laughs> you guys are a riot. And that's how we keep our two cats thin and trim. All right, tubers, now we got Baxter taking a little break, and Milo is at the cat nip. Attacking the He's literally attacking that scratching post, and that's because there, I'm sure it's because there's the cat nips in it. And this is, I've never actually given this cat, kitten a cat nip before, so we'll see uh, how crazy he winds up getting. Oh, now he just wants to clean himself. Give him a little encouragement there. You like your catnip, don't you, bud? <laughs> well, I think he's getting tired of it. Oh, oh, maybe not? Yep. Hey! Mom and I are over here at Slotsky's in Norfolk. It's another nasty rainy day. They said the rain was going to end, but it never did. It's still sprinkling. 
we're going to go down to uh, Virginia Beach and um, hopefully uh, get some uh, monitors and maybe mom will do some shopping. But uh, we're just about to finish our meals. What did you have? The usual? Pastrami and Swiss on she had pastrami and Swiss on wheat, and I had the Albuquerque turkey with the chipotle mayonnaise. Absolutely delicious. I would have reviewed it for you, but um, it's kind of dark in here, and it was noisy a few minutes ago. But they were really good. They were out of the, um, what do they call it, the rye, the dark rye here, which is kind of like their pumpernickel. Um, but we may do. I got the sourdough. She got it on the wheat. And we loved it. So I think we're going to head down to Virginia Beach now. If the rain gets too bad, probably gonna, just going to have to head home. But uh, we'll do as much as we can. Talk to you guys a little bit later. Arr, mateys. Here be my thrift store booty for this evening. <laughs> <laughs> Hope you guys enjoyed that little joke there. Sound like Long John Silver. Well, I got a few interesting items today. Nothing too crazy good, but let's get started over here. Got a couple of pairs of uh, speakers. Got some of these cyber acoustic speakers. They're um, not my favorite ones. They sound decent, but for $3.98, couldn't pass that up. I actually like these ones better. These used, they used to come with uh, gateway computers. Got these for $2.98, and the reason I like these is they actually run off the USB ports. You don't actually have to have an extra plug, so on your computer tower at home or in your strip, if you're uh, spare, if you can't spare a plug, then this is definitely the type of speakers that you want. Got a couple of USB webcams here. Logitech's. This one is... See if it'll focus here. I don't know what's going on with my autofocus today. There we go. This one supports 720p HD. This one, I'm not sure. I think this is the better of the two. This might be a 1080p camera, but for four bucks a piece, can't really complain. Next, I got a Dell USB optical mouse, buck 98, brand new, never been used. Then I got something here that's pretty interesting. These are 3D inflate a package air cushioning packages basically from the, the diagram what you do is you stick your item in it then you put your this thing that looks like a straw in there and you blow it up and it's supposed to protect your uh, package during shipping very very interesting i've never actually seen anything like this before they were 58 cents a piece and of course these were on special because i got these from uh, chkd so it being like maybe 25 30 cents each not a bad deal at all Probably the coolest find today was at the Hope House uh, thrift store over in um, Norfolk. Picked this up for $15. This is a JVC Avario hybrid. This one records video and still images to the hard drive or an SD card. Now, I do not believe this is actually not HD, um, but it does go up to like one, it has a 1.3 megapixel sensor in there. So I'm going to give this a try in a future vlog, and I think it will still look decent. I actually picked it up mainly because it does have a light on it. So for filming in low light situations, this might be ideal. As you can see, it's got a battery in there, and it does indeed work. I actually tested it there. If I can turn it on here, I think I left it on. There we go. You guys can see it does pop open. It's going to complain because I don't have the uh, little lens cover open, but at least you guys get an, a rough idea. There we go. That it does indeed work. And the cool thing is it even comes with an extended life battery, all of the documentation, and even the charger and the dock. So all of that for $15 could not pass that up. And last but not least, just a bunch of power cables and some um, VGA and S and um, DVI cables. Nothing too super spectacular. Well, that's going to be it for my vlog for these last two days. I hope, again, you guys are enjoying these multi-day vlogs. Please continue to remember to like and subscribe. And as always, have a blessed day, everybody.